All week we've been having a fun segment called Decade Dynamos where each one of the hosts tackles a decade, a 10 year time span and says here are the best quarterback, running back, wide receiver and defensive player of that decade. It's caused great consternation online. Let's go through some of these. Let's start with our guy Adam Rank who went with his 90s list and went with Troy Aikman over Steve Young, over John Elway and said Aikman, three (laughs) Super Bowl rings, I'm rolling with the Lombardis. And he went with Barry, Jerry, and Reggie White. Can't argue those. Then we went to 2010s. That was D'Angelo Hall, who played during that era, said he's going Brady, Adrian Peterson, Antonio Brown, J.J. Watt. We went at him, said, how can you go Antonio Brown over Calvin Johnson? Antonio Brown had four first-team All-Pros in the decade. He got his nod. And then yesterday, Rachel came on the show and said, here are the 2020s. Here's what we got so far. It's going Mahomes, Jonathan Allen, Jamar Chase, and unanimous defensive rookie of the year last year, Micah Parsons, which leads a very interesting de- decade, the 2000 to 2010. 2000, we started with the greatest show on turf. 2010, we ended with Drew Brees winning a Super Bowl over Peyton Manning. In between, you had a few Patriots Super Bowls, a few Steelers Super Bowls. And you had a couple runs from the car. You know, there's a bunch of different teams. So I'm going to give you my teams, but I want you to remember where we were in that time period. And at quarterback, there were three names I wanted to go with. Warner, Brady, or Manning. I said Warner had that gap in between the Giants and the Cardinals. I said I can't really include him with Brady and Manning. Love you, Kurt. So it's Brady or Manning. And let's see the breakdown of how their 2000 to 2009s looked. Brady and Manning, who would you go with? How would you value this? You got, Brady's got the Super Bowls, right? Peyton won four MVPs. All right, Peyton, 13 more wins. Peyton, nearly 13,000 more passing yards. Peyton, nearly 100 more touchdowns. And yet I went Brady. I'm going Brady. I'm what? going three Super Bowl <laughs> Oh my you got God. You. As, I'm with it. As messed up as this might seem because he didn't finish the job, the 18 and one season gets put in there for me because it was statistically one of the greatest campaigns we've ever seen. Brady to Moss and what they did week in, week out. We'd never seen anyone dominate the NFL like that <clears throat> until Peyton would do it in the next decade with the Broncos. But beyond that, let's start with this. I'm going with the Lombardis and the rings over the stats. Peyton, of course, would win another ring and he would make the argument that, hey, I'm the greatest quarterback of all time until Brady would go and win a few more rings after Manning retired. Tom Brady's my quarterback. I know Peyton fans, you can come at me on that one. I went with Super Bowl rings. How about the running back position? This one was up for grabs. The running back position, though, I'm going with our colleague at the NFL Network and I'm going with LaDainian Tomlinson. I feel like Tomlinson for that stretch did things that no other running back has ever done in the history of the sport. And that includes Barry Sanders, and that includes Jim Brown, and it includes Emmitt Smith. For that three or four year span, Tomlinson was not only the best running back in the sport, but maybe the best player in the sport. Every single time he touched the ball, whether it was Breeze giving him the rock or Rivers giving him the rock, it was electric. Caught the ball out of the backfield like perhaps no running back in the history of the game ever did. And he would throw for touchdowns too. Chargers, again, playoff flops uh, when it mattered most. Uh, Not holding that against the running back position. I'm going to say LaDainian Tomlinson was the greatest running back of that decade. But here's the real controversial one. Who is my (laughs) wide receiver of the decade? Oh, no. 2000 Uh to 2009. Don't do it. Had Marvin Harrison. Had Randy Mm -hmm. Moss in his prime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going with a guy who bounced team to team to team. (gasps) Terrell Owens, let's see some footage, T.O. footage, what do we got, give me T.O. It went from Niners to Eagles to ultimately the Cowboys and T.O. was an unstoppable force. Whether it was Jeff Garcia or Tony Romo or Donovan McNabb, anytime this guy was on the field, he was the number one target and he was unstoppable. How do his numbers shape up in those nine years? Wow, is that Fitzpatrick throwing him a bomb? Jeez, I did not expect that highlight. Let's look at his numbers and his ranks here. Receiving yards, he was third during that era. Receiving touchdowns, he was second. Receiving yards per game first, and most importantly, all pro selections, T.O. was first with five. I went through all the numbers. 
Torrey Holt is right up there with all of them in that era. Yes. You had Marvin Harrison, as I mentioned. You had Randy Moss. And yet consistency, team to team, year to year, no better wide receiver in that era in those nine-year spans than Terrell Owens. And my most controversial pick, one that had D'Angelo Hall falling off his chair in the commercial break because I left <laughs> off player one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going to do it with stats or with highlights at first. I'm going to toss to a clip, a clip of the greatest coach of all time, talking to the greatest quarterback of all time, and losing sleep over a certain defender who played for the Baltimore Ravens. Take a listen. One thing about playing against your dad is you just, you're always so aware of where he is. It's almost, you know, it's not like he sneaks up on you, or he can't sneak up on you. But I mean, we played him in the rain here five years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, every time you break the huddle here, that's who you're looking at. You're not going, yeah. okay, let's just snap the ball and you know, read this out. You're going, okay, where's he at? Yeah, yeah. He's on the quarterback. He's on him. Doesn't even take this Vincent Jackson <laughs> running right past him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow, amazing clip. Ed Reed is my greatest defensive player of the 2000 to 2009. I I, I know there's going to be arguments, and I know his own teammate Ray Lewis has an argument here and says, hey, what about me? I'm a Super Bowl MVP guy. Um, you couldn't go into a game against the Ravens and not account for number 20, and he had the, the greatest playmaking ability, too, once he got his hands on the ball. I think he redefined the safety position. I think he's the greatest uh, safety since Ronnie Lott, and I think his ability, once he got the ball in his hands, was what made the Ravens what they were during this era. Um, I know that... This doesn't exactly uh, go with everyone's list, but I'm going Brady, Tomlinson, Owens, and then I'm going Ed Reed of the Baltimore Ravens as the greatest defensive player of the 2000 to 2009 era. D'Angelo Hall, you came in the league right in the heart of this time. There were a lot of great linebackers, defensive linemen, and corners and safeties. Did I get it wrong on Ed Reed? I don't think you got it wrong, Shregs. I mean, just like you said, I mean, you saw Tom and Bill talking about it, man. Ed is Ed. I mean, I, I grew up idolizing Ed Reed. And so, obviously, I love Ed Reed. But you work with C. Wood. How do you not put C. Wood on that list? <laughs> um, I don't know. But you had a tough, you had a tough, tough, tough job, man. But I love your list. I, got, no, I, 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 love, I have to walk I, into a production meeting with Charles Woodson uh, in about three months, and I've got to look him right in the eyes and be like, you weren't as good as Ed Reed. Um, but that's not true. Charles Woodson's career has an argument over Ed Reed's, but we'll go on. Adam, what do you got? Yeah. Uh, I'm with you. I'll always take the rings. And by the way, Peyton Manning deserves a little Rex Grossman-like asterisk by his Super Bowl. But I do love that you have LaDainian Tomlinson because for me – and I, I was alive during Walter Payton's era, but of being a conscience like football fan, there's been no better running back than LaDainian Tomlinson. So I was thrilled to see him on your list. Hmm. I loved the awesome. Belichick Brady clip. That was such a cool insight into them just being absolutely stressed over Ed Reed. That was great. My only problem here, Shregs, is at the wide receiver, T.O., I know he's incredible. Randy Moss had 23 touchdowns in 2007 alone. Was this a diff was this a difficult choice? Just tell us it was hard at least. Yeah, it was impossible. I I almost <laughs> went Tory Holt. Tory Holt had more yards than just about all of them during the thing. That that receiver era was so good. I went TO, but Rachel, Randy Moss absolutely could be in the conversation. I just kind of hold some of those weird years, uh, the later years in Oakland, the Tennessee year, that's all packaged into this thing. It wasn't mm -hmm. just one season, it was nine.